Perfume. Perfume? 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 According to Matthew chapter 1, from Abraham to David 14, David to exile, the Holy 14, exile to Jesus 14, also it represents the 14 stations of the cross of the Red Dolores. To the other side is the place of the manger where Jesus Christ was laid after he was born, but of course it's not the original manger, because the original one in the, Crus the Crusades in the 12th century, they took to Rome, to St. Maria Maggiore Church. So now you know that we are in the Church of Nativity, and before the Church of Nativity was built, the first Christian people used to come pray worship in secret down in the stable where Jesus was born because Christianity wasn't legal at that time. But in 135 AD, when the Roman Emperor Hadrian came, Emperor, Han Emperor Hadrian denied Christianity and Emperor Hadrian wants the people to forget the place where Jesus was born. For that reason, Emperor Hadrian brought a statue for Adonis. God of love for the Romans, to be worshipped in the place where Jesus was born. That statue remained there about 200 years, till 326 AD. 326 AD, when Christianity became legal in the Roman Empire, Emperor Constantine sent his mother, Queen Helen, to build many churches in the Holy Land. One is the Church of Nativity, which was built over the place where Jesus Christ was born. So Queen Helen, she removed the statue of Adonis, marked the third place, and built the Church of Nativity over. Unfortunately, the Church of Nativity was destroyed by the Samaritan during the revolution which happened against the Roman in 529. For that reason, when Emperor Justinian came, 542, Emperor Justinian ordered to rebuild the Church of Nativity on the same site, but a little bit larger. Now in 614, the Persians came to the Holy Land. So the Persians, when they came, they destroyed all the churches and monasteries, except the Church of Nativity, they didn't destroy it. Why? Because when they arrived at the Church of Nativity to destroy it, they saw on the facade of the church a mosaic for the wise man who came when Jesus was born. One of the wise men with the Persians' uniform, that's why the Persians thought that the church belonged to them, and they didn't destroy it. So we consider it one of the oldest Byzantine churches still in Egypt, 1,500 years old. 638, the Muslim king, during their period, they destroyed some churches, converted others to mosques, but the church of nativity, they didn't. Because according to Muslim belief, Jesus is prophet, and he is the last one before Muhammad. But at that time, the church was in very bad condition, till the Crusades came in the 12th century. So when the Crusades came, churches improved a lot, especially in decoration. So all the wall of the church was covered with mosaic, which lived from that mosaic is under restoration now. So if you look at this beautiful mosaic here, So this beautiful mosaic here is the original door of the Church of Nativity. It's from 326 AD, but when Justinian ordered to rebuild the church, they raised up the floor, covered the mosaic, and an archaeologist discovered this mosaic only in 1936, during the excavation which happened in this area. So imagine how pretty is the Church of Nativity in the 4th century when the whole floor was covered with mosaic. You know that since the 18th century, the Church of Nativity, because there were too much conflict between the different Christian groups about the right to take care of the church, for that reason, the Ottoman in the 18th century, they divided the Church of Nativity to three churches, Greek Orthodox, the main one, Armenian Catholic, I will show you later. Please take your picture and we have to be silent. He's looking at